All right, guys, let's move directly on. Now that we've fetched, rather, now that we've compressed our image, let us now fetch it so that we can put it into our image view in our users list. So back to the users activity. And within our user holder class, we can create one more method that will let us do exactly that. So public void set, let's call it set icon so that we don't confuse it with the, the large image, the larger sized image, the one that is uncompressed. And this method will take in a string compressed image. Then I'll make a variable for that circle image view. Avatar is equals to view dot find view by id r dot id dot avatar. And then we can use Picasso once again. So Picasso dot get dot into uh, rather dot load, and then we pass in that compressed image dot into avatar. Very simple. So now we must come to our populate view holder method and use what we just created. So view holder dot set. icon model and now we'll stop here for a second because as you remember in our model in our user class we only had a username a status and the image which in that case meant the large image so now let's go to our user class and let's create another variable for compressed image Remember, you have to type this out exactly as you put it in your database. And in our database, we put it as compressed underscore small letter i image. So if you're used to using camel case, in this case, you'll just have to use underscore if that's how you did it for, for your database. Okay, now we have to create the entry for that in our constructor. So string, compressed image. Then I can co duplicate this with control D and say compressed image, compressed image. And finally, I can create getters and setters. So for that, I'll just hit alt and insert, getter and setter, and click this. And there they are. All right, back to our user's activity. So we say model dot get compressed image. And that is it. So let's run this, see if we have any errors. All right, there it is, running. Now let's go to users. And there we go. First time lucky, it worked perfectly. So here's uh, our user called John and his status. Jane Square today, best app ever. And you can see also William status is showing, Jane Square yesterday. Now you remember, we only put our compressed image for John. We haven't put for the others, that's why it's blank. But yeah, it's done its job and it's brought this just as we wanted. So that's actually all that we need to do for this part of the tutorial. But since it's short and we have a little time, something that we can fix. So as it's loading, you may you may or may not have noticed this, but there's always a little bit of lag between the name and status coming up and the actual image. Uh, maybe to demonstrate, I can try going to the settings. So if we go to settings, Again, it may have been a bit too quick, but on my end, there's a bit of a lag between the image showing up and the rest of the data. But that's because the image will naturally have a larger size, even if we compress it or crop it, whatever we do. So what we can do is we can come to our settings activity first and go to the avatar. So here it is. Here's the avatar. Um, just here it is. Control and click. 
and we can go to the Picasso where we use Picasso to load it. So we say picasso.get.load into avatar. Now what we can do is just after dot load we can put dot placeholder and say r dot drawable dot nif which is no image found which is this little image. So what this will do is while it is loading it will put this as a placeholder so at least there is something it's not just blank. So I'm going to take that exact same thing to users picasso.get.load.placeholder r.drawable.nif Okay, now it's rare to have such a nice short and quick tutorial so I'm going to just end there and we'll continue with the next thing in the next one. Thank you very much.